Yo, welcome back. I was worried you'd moved on to something healthy. But nope. You're chasing digital girls and tweaking prompts like it's your only personality trait. This is Image to Image Workflow Tutorial for SD 1.5 and SDXL, depending on the model you load. If you don't have ComfyUI with the manager by now, go back to my previous videos and catch up. Don't forget to update your ComfyUI. We're using Essentials nodes. Open the manager. Go to Custom Nodes, search for Essentials. Install. Restart. Remember our text-to-image workflow? Same deal, we're just replacing the empty latent image. Delete it. It's useless now, like your last stable relationship. Since this is image to image, we need an actual image. Use load image. Let's be real, your wank collection is full of images with every dimensions known to man. We'll resize them to avoid choking your GPU into a coma. Add image resize from essentials. Add preview image so we can see dimension changes. Link them together. This setup lets us downscale without murdering performance. Let's bypass the other nodes for now. Let's use a sample image from our previous video. I cropped it to 768 by 1024. Set width and height to 512, and resize method to keep proportion. Run. Same image, resized. Max dimension is 512. This is what we're feeding to the K-sampler. We need to convert it into a readable format. Add VA encode. To convert pixels into latent space. Hook it up. Remove the bypass. Let's fire it up. Take note of the denoise value. It controls how much noise we inject into your image before generation starts. It's basically controlled destruction. Imagine pouring acid onto a canvas before painting. At 1.0, you're not just splashing it. You're soaking that thing like you're trying to erase the past. The AI ignores your image completely and builds from the prompt alone. In our case, still using the same prompt. A young woman sitting in a coffee shop. And look at that. The output barely resembles the image we loaded. Observe how the dimensions follow what the image resize node provides. Now, lower the denoise, or in our metaphor, use less acid. Fragments of your original image start surviving. The AI starts paying attention to the visual you're giving it, not just your horny little text input. Simple version. Denoise decides who's calling the shots, the prompt or the image. Set it to 1.0, and the prompt runs the show. Lower it, and your image gains more influence over what gets generated. That's it. That's image to image in a nutshell. Congrats. You're one step closer to faking art like a pro. Pro tip you don't deserve. If you're using one of your reference images and your brain can't think of a prompt because of 24-7 dehydration from that endless wank loop you call a lifestyle, you can use image to prompt. Didn't watch that video? It's in the description. Go learn something. Use Florence to run. Florence to model loader. Show any. Link the nodes. Link caption to your positive prompt. Set task to more detailed caption. Now that node's locked, 
it uses Florence's caption. Run it. There you go. Looks closer now, doesn't it? Even with denoise changes, the result sticks closer to the input because we gave the AI a proper description instead of just trusting your horny imagination. Pro tip again, personally. I still recommend you just copy the generated caption manually into your prompt. That way you can actually modify it, make your changes, add your nonsense. So what I've done is separated the two workflows. Please, just wait a second while I fix everything for you. I already know half of you don't want to listen anyway. You're just going to download the workflow, pretend you're smart, and cry back here when it all breaks. All right, now we've got it grouped. You can run each section separately without frying your last working synapse. Workflow grouping and bypass. Tip I grouped both workflows for your lazy ass. Use group bypasser from RG3. Switch between image to prompt and image to image. First generate your prompt, then flip the switch. Paste it. Modify it. Generate it. Rinse. Repeat. Regret. Demo. Change black tank top to white. Run it. See that? Instant digital wardrobe change. Now keep pushing it until she's naked again. I know that's your end game. That's it. You've now mastered image to image. Everything you skipped, workflow and links. It's all in the description. You ignored half this tutorial and didn't listen anyway. Remember, delete your outputs. You know what's in there. Don't let it be evidence. Like, share, and subscribe. You've come this far, might as well commit. Catch you in the next one, where you'll pretend it's for learning again.